Hey guys, Bob King here with Red Hill Tactical. Um, last night I got my hands on one of the new STI 9mm uh, mags, the new style. Looks like they're taking some cues from SV and uh, MBX there on how they're indenting the sides. Uh, picked the magazine up, decided last night it was an indoor match. I was going to run it, see how it runs, see if there's any problems. Um, so this mag was ran last night out of the package. No modifications, no follower, no springs, uh, no change in base pad. Uh, got it out. First thing I noticed, I really like the indicator holes. It tells me how many is in the mag. Uh, it's really nice. I could not get more than the 20 in it. Um, I will try changing the followers and springs and base pads to get me about 22, 24. Um, but I will say, uh, the mag ran. I started off uh, shooting a classifier, uh, loaded eight in it, shot six ran. Uh, next stage I went ahead and, and bumped it up to the 20, um, shot two more strings, uh, ran just fine, no problems. Um, I did not run it all the way down to empty at all last night though, so I will say that. Uh, it drops free like nobody's business. Um, this mag actually almost shoots out of the gun. Uh, again, I was testing it in an Atlas 9mm custom open gun. Um, this is a 9mm I got. I also got a 40 that I'm going to be testing. The big thing I like, and, and a lot of you guys will really like this too, is you, many of you guys have multiple 2011s. Um, these become really easy to tell which mag is which. Um, again, and then the same indicator holes. Did not test this one, so I can't tell you it ran or not. Um, but it's a really nice looking mag. The weight feels really good. They really feel strong, heavy duty. Um, I think STI might have hit a winner on this one. Uh, if you got any questions, let me know. Thanks.